Hi, this is Alan DeNoyer here, and uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about flint napping here today. It's, uh, it's something that I've been doing for my whole adult life, and many, many people have done it over hundreds and thousands of years all over the world. Um, the term flint napping comes from Europe, from when these guys were sitting in uh, these rooms and things making the gun flints for the flintlock rifles in France and in England and those different places where there was flint. And so that name was what they called these people that did that. And so somehow or another, I'm not sure how this went about, but that's the name that people use today for people that replicate and make uh, prehistoric uh, stone tools. So what I want to do today is just talk a little bit about that. And um, first off, talk about like the basics of it. So uh, in order to make a stone tool out of a rock, you have to have a certain kind of rock that breaks a certain way. And you can't just pick up any old rock from out in the desert and make it work. You need a rock that will break with a conchoidal fracture. And what that is, is the rock is a cryptocrystalline and it's very high in silica. And so if you've ever seen a window that's been hit by a BB and you get a cone that pops out, that is conchoidal fracture. So cryptocrystallines break with conchoidal fracture. And so what I'm gonna do today here is I'm gonna hit a flake. A flake is uh, basically a cone that is struck out of a rock um, that is flakeable. But instead of hitting the rock in the middle of the rock, somewhere out in the middle of the rock, you hit it on an edge of the rock where two faces of the rock come together at an angle less than 90 degrees. So I'm not hitting it in the middle. I don't want to hit it in the middle and create, try to knock a whole cone. I can't control that. And I would have to hit the rock so hard the piece would fall apart and I just get a bunch of junk that I can't really control. But by hitting it on an edge where two faces of the rock come together at an angle less than 90 degrees, if I hit it back behind that edge, I can break it and get a flake that I can control. So what a flake is, is where when you hit it with another rock, and so this rock right here is a piece of sandstone. This is a cobble that's been tumbled. I picked it up out of the Santa Cruz River. And this is a, a somewhat of a soft rock. It's not too hard. What I do is I hit the rock that I want to knock a flake off of. I hit it with this rock. And when I hit it, I'm knocking a wave of energy into the rock. And the way to think about that is when you throw a rock in the pond and you see the wave of energy travel out, that's what happens. So this rock has already had one flake knocked off of this face right here. I'm gonna come into here and I'm gonna strike it right here and strike another flake off of it right here. And then I wanna talk about that flake. So I'm gonna take this hammer stone and I'm just gonna rest this on my leg and then with the arcing downward motion, I'm just gonna hit this, boom. And so I struck this flake right here. My flake broke and there, it, this is uh, the fracture that came off of this is what we call a step fracture where I hit it, the energy was running through the rock and it kind of petered out and this flake broke in half. So there's actually a fracture that's in the rock running around through here. So what happened was when I hit it, boom, I knocked that wave of energy into the rock and it's traveling through the rock. This flat spot right here is what we call the platform. That's the spot where I struck it. And then behind that, this is the bulb. This is the cone of energy where that energy entered the rock and where it's traveling through the rock, breaking off the flake.